cause disease, right? But sometimes, especially when we're growing up, it's a little hard to imagine how something so tiny can actually cause us some harm. This is a little experiment that we're going to run to demonstrate exactly why hand washing is important to get germs off of your hands. So for our experiment, our little demonstration here, all we need are two things. We need uh, about a tablespoon's worth of cooking oil, which is zipping around in there, and we need about a teaspoon's full, that's a little bit more actually, of uh, cinnamon. And we're going to repeat the same concept three times, yes, Jean, three times in different ways. And by the way, I'm about to take off my rings because this experiment will not work with rings on the fingers very well. To run this little demonstration, all you need to do is take the oil first, put it all over your hands. Oh, that's good and greasy. And now we are going to drop the cinnamon onto our hands, rub it all around our hands as well. Get it everywhere, get it everywhere, get it everywhere. And now with your hands completely covered in cinnamon, which by the way smells awesome, uh, we're going to wash our hands for 20 seconds in cold water only. Here we go. That got us absolutely nowhere. And this kind of starts to demonstrate exactly how germs do not wish to leave, do not wish to leave the body once they've glommed on to our own body oils, essentially. Now, we're going to wait and we're going to let the water get warm, and we're going to try it again. The water's pretty warm now, so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this 20 more seconds. Let's see if warm water alone does the trick. So here's what we've got. We've got, uh, with the warm water, it does do it a little bit better. You can see, maybe, that there is actually less cinnamon on me. Now I'm going to clean myself up totally, and we're going to repeat the experiment using soap this time. It's time to repeat the experiment, and this time we're going to add, um, to add soap to the mix. So, again, we're taking about a tablespoon full of olive oil, rubbing that on our hands, and then we're going to take a teaspoon or so of cinnamon. That is, smells just delightful. I recommend Saigon cinnamon, by the way, for fabulous taste and consistency in all recipes. All right, so we're a gross mess. The water should still be warm. I'm going to turn it on. It is. Now I'm going to add a little soap. I'm going to wash your hands for 20 seconds and see how it goes. So, so. Water up. All right, let's go at it. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. Look, we don't even need 20 seconds to demonstrate that that cinnamon just comes right off when we use soap. So, so if we want to demonstrate, let me turn that off for a second. So if we want to demonstrate to our kids that soap really does make a difference. Try the experiment with oil and cinnamon and see if that doesn't make them soap users overnight. I swear, if somebody had showed me this as a child, I would never have tried to get away with not washing my hands with soap. Just saying. Yeah!